We are hearing tonight from the health minister reacting to our stories this week about a terminally ill woman who had to be transferred from St. Paul's Hospital in order to fulfill her wish of medical assistance in dying or maid. As CTV's Shannon Patterson reports, Adrian Dix has more to say about an agreement that allows religious exemptions for maid at some publicly funded hospitals. There are crosses on top of St. Paul's Hospital in downtown Vancouver, but when 34-year-old Sam O'Neill was admitted for palliative care suffering from end-stage cervical cancer, she didn't realize the Catholic Church oversees the facility and would not allow medical assistance in dying or made to happen on site. The palliative care team there did everything to help with the process. And then they just bail when it's time to put her in a, va a van. <laughs> O'Neill's parents say they lost their chance for a proper goodbye when their daughter had to be sedated and transferred to a hospice for maid. The health minister says it's a very rare occurrence. This represents about 0.2%, I think, of maid in BC, meaning 99.8% plus isn't involved in such transfers at all. Dix has no plans to change a decades-old agreement that allows Providence healthcare facilities like St. Paul's to opt out of procedures that go against the teachings of the Catholic Church. We aren't putting forward that law at present. When asked if religion should play a role in what treatment patients receive at publicly funded hospitals, Dix pivoted to praising the work of St. Paul's. Having um, uh, non-profit organizations that are faith-based, including uh, the Catholic Church, but also other churches involved in long-term care and in health care, uh, overall benefits us. In a statement, Providence Healthcare said its approach is based on the long-standing moral tradition of compassionate care that neither prolongs dying nor hastens death. We know this commitment and how it is embodied in policy and practice is not without challenges. We do appreciate all expressions of concern for the experience of those we care for. The issues raised by the family, of course, will be reviewed, and there's a process to review those concerns, and I really encourage them to be part of that process. We could file a complaint. Well, the person most affected by this is dead. Very difficult for Sam to file the complaint. So how is that helping her? It's not. Instead, the O'Neills are joining other MAID advocates in a court challenge that will argue the agreement allowing some publicly funded hospitals to opt out of MAID is unconstitutional. We don't want to ever see another family go through this. We don't want to see another person go through this. Um, so absolutely, we are completely on board. They say it's what Sam would have wanted. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.